think I'm checking out the room. Well, come back here. We need to stick together. I have a bad feeling about that one. Hi, girls. I'm Paris. Hi. Hi. Whoa, crayons. Yeah. Oh, look, I see blue. I see purple. I love yellow. Oh my gosh, pink's my, my hair. hair. She ripped off my hair. I'm not going to let you ruin my preschool year. I want to be the cutest. <laughs> What's going on here? She I will not tolerate me. this behavior at my school. No, she didn't. I don't see anyone here. You two are the only people here. Here are Savannah and Sierra. They are very nice girls and they're twins. If you're interested in adopting one, you need to adopt both of them. I don't think that'll be a problem. They seem charming. Thank you. We would be delighted to become part of your family. Yes, we would. Dad, why are we even adopting someone? This is so stupid. Is that harass? Definitely not them. I'm sorry. <gasps> Ugh. Help me. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I'm so hungry. It's so scary out here and it's gonna get dark soon. We're gonna okay. starve. At least we're not by harass or the orphan. Ooh, newspapers. We're in Florida. Okay. The Space Center is nearby and they're looking for an auditions. For one million dollars. We could live off that for the rest of our thousands of lives. We could buy a house and some more food and some more wine and a bed. Let's go. Yeah. Hello girls, would you like to go up into space? Yes. Okay, we'll start the interview then. How old are you? 14. Um. I'm sorry, girls, you must be 16. Where are your parents? Well, they're outside. Well, if I get your parents' permission, we might be able to get you an interview because we're having trouble getting applicants. I cannot guarantee that you make it, but I can get you in. You two seem like good, a good choice. You're tough, you seem tough. And you might not get the prize money, and you might not be able to go to space, but I can definitely try. They said we could. You'll need their signature first. Well, we'll go outside and get their signature. What's wrong? Um, Sierra, can I speak to you for a second? Yeah. How are we ever gonna get our parents' signatures? I don't know. I feel kind of like Susan already knows. I mean, if we ever get into space, our lives depend mainly on her. She doesn't seem like she would care. I agree. We should tell her. Well, we're orphans. We ran away from the orphanage because our old enemy from preschool, their, her dad was trying to adopt us. You have to go back. No, she's evil. We want to go into space on an adventure. Well, you need a parent to sign it. You could sign it. Me? No, that is absolutely unheard of. You need a legal parent signature. I could adopt them. Yes, but the process would take way too long. Girls, I could not have wished for two better applicants. And I just wanted to tell you that yeah. we have to go. Sorry. Girls, are you ready? Yep, ready as I'll ever be. Okay, one minute and counting. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift off. Is this sign any sign of a possible planet yet? No. Wait, I see something. 
Yeah, it's a planet. And it seems to have plenty of water. That planet looks exceptional. Emily, start the landing process. Starting landing process. Landing gears are out. Landing in three, two, one. The water is everywhere. Are you seeing this, Susan? Yes, I have the video for your body cams. This planet is perfect. We can do so much here. If needed, we can transport many people to live on this planet. If not, we can just use water from it. I'm so happy that this day has finally come. Wow! It's even better than we saw from the window. Well, get the water transporters and put some water inside of it. You'll need to get a pretty good amount so it can be adequately tested. The water transporters are in the back of the ship. Okay. What's wrong? I thought I saw something. It's fine though, it's nothing. <gasps> I'm exhausted. Welcome to the life of heroes. Yeah, well why do we do this anyways? I don't know. Maybe we were broke. That makes sense. Oh my gosh. Is that our ponytails on her shoulder? Yes. Yes, it is. It's her ass. Why are you oh, here? Because I found the water, and I got all the money. But that can't be true. Really? <sighs> After that day you cut off our ponytails, we started taking karate! Crazy. Girls, what just happened? Well, our old enemy came back to sabotage us and take all our all our accomplishments and the water. Well, that seems like quite a bit of excitement. Well, liftoff was in 20 minutes, and I would recommend getting into your seats. There might be a rough takeout take off because the atmosphere here is thick, but if you buckle in, it should be fun. Okay, thanks. Lift off in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How is the return going, girls? Good, really good. Wait, what? There's something beeping beep, really loud beep, on the radar. Beep, beep, it's an beep, asteroid. Beep, beep. I see something on the asteroid. It's her ass. What? We trapped her. Well, I guess she started to steer the pod. Okay, girls, your most important job is to get the water to Earth safely. We'll send our water to it in a drone to Earth. It should make it there because we'll send it in a protected pod. I will get someone down here to take control of that drone and bring it to Earth. I'll do it. Girls, watch out for all the asteroids. Yeah, about that. Look, there's a huge one straight in our path. I've tried to steer it clear of us, but it's getting closer. Pot is safe and headed back to Earth. Great. Susan, do you hear me? Do you copy? The connection must be gone. Will we survive this? 